Hi guys, how are you today? So um, today I'm gonna take you guys to my food trailer and we'll let you see what is in my food trailer. Okay. Okay, I will show you this thing first. This is my generator and it's covered in the metal box. When I open it, you can see my generator here. I would recommend this generator is Honda 7000 BTU is very quiet one and yesterday I went to the food truck park and see a lot of um, loud generator and it's very annoying so if you can get this 7000 BTU Honda it will be nice it's pricey but it's it's gonna worth it in the future so here is my propane tank it has no propane at all right now I'm in the process of getting started so in the future I have to go to uh, the gas station I guess to get the propane here is my pooling section so if you are the food tailor you need to have a truck to put the tailor and here is you need the balls I have dry balls you know these two I don't I don't use it right now I use the main one and I have the electronic brake that means when you pull the tailor the tailor will not hit your truck and it's very safe to have because my tr my tailor is um, 4,500 pound it's very heavy so it's need to have that thing so as you can see here is the sailing win window and the good thing is like i have a little bit of shade for my customer right here they can stand here and order the food and right here is the so i can it has a screen so i can leave this open without having a box or anything in my food teller here is the stand that they can just uh i i can put some sugar or fish sauce or something that they can season on that food right here we see inside so now here is my kitchen in the food teller so as you can see that i just showed you from the outside here is the selling window and it has um the glass window on it and here's the screen right here is the light switch for these two light okay. so here is the main cord for the generator that gonna connect everything with the generator and here is the main switch and everything else is connected to everything in the truck so when i'm operating i have to turn everything on right here i'll keep it closed for now and the food uh i mean health department required to have the hand sink with the soap outlet right here with the hot water make sure that you have a hot water that works Okay, here is the cooking sink. You can wash your vegetables or meat. This has the sink that connect with the waste water under the truck. Make sure you have, of course, warm water and cold water working. I also have the storage right here. There's a lot of space. And also have AC. Of course, it's gonna be hot. I already hot already. Um, it's gonna be even hotter when I go out and selling my food. Here's the vent window that when I turn out the I turn up the hood. I have to open that. Make sure the the hood not suck all the air. Here is my refrigerator. It's the inside. Nothing in there yet. And here is my 
um, fresh food preparation station this will keep it cold when I cut the meat or vegetables and I can store I can store my uh, fresh food that ready to cook on the stove so I have two stove right here but one of them I'm gonna make it a wok so of course I'm cooking Thai food and I need to have a wok stove that is gonna like be this much higher so my husband already ordered that uh, wok ring to install in the near future let's close this first and I have a deep fryer so and then here is my table uh, preparation table it's kind of dirty right now because I just get that fire suppression install it's the requirement from the city of Knoxville that where I live and here is the three head sprinkles that um, will spread out the foam you know because I will use this stuff and um, they have to use chemical to stop the fire because the water cannot stop the grease the, the fire from the grease so they have some kind of chemical that will stop it here is my hood and um, before you you purchase a uh, food teller make sure you know about the fire suppression system because I spend a lot more money doing this later on see and here is my it's some more space to store something and I have two tanks of the fire extinguisher extinguisher that's right okay um here is for grease and that one for the water I mean for the fire that water can stop it it's not like strong you know that one is like weaker than this one and here under the sink I have the water tank the good, the good water tank right here so the water will go to the pipe right here and here is the switch that I can turn on here is my water heater Make sure you have hot water, of course. And I already put up the water system so that I'm not forget how to use this thing. Because without the, like before you turn the heat on, make sure you fill up the water. Otherwise, it's gonna mess up the system. And it's gonna break your heater. Okay. Okay, I hope you guys enjoy my video and hopefully we'll see you guys soon when I get a chance to go out and sell my food. Is the the next obstacle of mine is gonna be to find a place to sell my food and that's kinda hard because I start like I just get started and most of the places already get booked but yeah we'll see what's gonna happen thank you for watching and comment on below if you have any questions or any suggestion see you guys soon bye